OK, in the previous lesson we learnt about wireframing with the default widgets, using styles to style those widgets and when to create masters. Now on to the exciting bit, let's get prototyping. In this first video we are going to add a link to the menu using the create link shortcut found in the widget interactions palette. The first most basic interaction is linking. Let's make our menu work. There's a shortcut method for adding links, so we'll cover that first. First, we ought to customize our page names and add some headings to our pages so we know which pages we're looking at. We're going to create some generic product page names to start with. As much as possible, I'm going to create a generic object where possible because I'm designing for reuse. Being specific is often not efficient. If we create a generic product-based slideshow, for example, we can reuse this for all product-based wireframes. But if we make a specific book product slideshow and we come back later wanting to reuse it, we have to strip this object back before we can repurpose. Adding specific product details can come later as we add higher fidelity to the design. You can simply right click to rename a page or do a slow double click uh, for the same. In order to update our menu, we'll open our menu master by double clicking it. We want these items to reflect our page names or titles. Just click and type. Let's select product 1 in the menu and click on interactions in the widget interactions pane. You'll see a shortcut to create a link which we'll introduce first. We get a dialog which allows you to select your existing pages. Select the product one page. First it's important to notice that our shortcut method has created a case under the on click event. Notice a highlighted number appears against our menu item. This number shows us there is more to this object than first meets the eye. As you add detail to subsequent objects, the number is incremented, so we have a unique reference for each object in the page. This numbering system is the backbone of the documentation process. More on this later. 